Okay, so we're all signed on for the Celtic Tri Neath Glenny Triathlon. Um, it was about 20, 20, 30 pound went there. You get a better bag than I am, man. But uh, yeah, this is my local race. I should have done this first, so people normally do this first. They do a pool swim as their first one and do a nice one to, to start. So I've done this the completely opposite way around and done this at the very end of my triathlon year, which is a bit bizarre. But yeah, all branded up, put all my stickers, we're gonna put it on the bike, get bike in the transition, and then have a chat with all the quick Celtic Tri group members and have a little bit of a wander around. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Sun is coming out, thank God. And uh, hopefully everyone enjoys themselves as it's a family beginner race and it's going to be good fun. So let's go. John Carrick, the uh, James Bond of Celtic Tri. Yeah, okay, that's a new one. Can I just say? What a pleasure it's been to follow Lewis's uh, journey this year. It's probably the best vlogs ever that I've seen. And now that I'm actually in one, I'm very relieved that I'm more of an official part of his journey. Well, but well done, excellent effort. If I was going to Finland or Kona, I would follow you, but I can't because no, okay. I'm, I'm not. I, I'm not as good as you, John. Yeah, I'll have a postcard. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished my race, had a time of just over 55 minutes and uh, I'm currently in first place, there's a couple of juniors left to go which are fast, um, but yeah, me and uh, Rob had a really good battle, I let him go in the swim 10 seconds before me, so I knew I had a buffer for the bike, he holds the TT record I think on the race down here as well, so I led the bike all the way, but he was just behind me coming into transition, so that was like, that motivated me to push me on basically. I was a little bit slow in transition, so we came out literally exactly the same time. We ran the 3k course pretty much together, under 4 minute k's, uh, which was horrific. And then the last k is pretty much all uphill, and I just knew I could use that to my strength. And just went a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and in the last couple of hundred meters I just pushed it. And uh, yeah, but he was, uh, he was a big motivator, so thank you. And um, yeah, overall really good, I wanted to keep over 23 miles per hour on the bike, which I did. The run was just a hold on and hope. It was one and a half k downhill, one and a half k uphill, so you just knew it was going to be tough on the way back. But yeah, absolutely, really, really good event. Um, really safe, plenty of marshals. Everyone's really enjoyed themselves. There's a mix of everyone here, like big, yeah, beginner, like very, very new people who do not mountain bikes, hybrid bikes, 
and then all the way up to some of us which are just using it as a bit of a um, refresher to get back into training or if we've got another event coming up which like I said I have so um, yeah big thanks to Celtic Try um, they are my local club but this event is just awesome to have as well so maybe next year I'll come out and um, I'll, I'll volunteer next year and um, see how I can help everyone else as well so that, that'll, that'll be really good so we're gonna wait around see if I can get on the podium and then probably go, go over McDonald's to celebrate but there you are right Fingers crossed. First place, there is Bradley, Kathy yeah. Craig. This is Alex, she's the one who's been film videoing me all year, so thank you. Got two more events left, then all of next year to do again. <laughs> but uh, I pay her well in food and McDonald's and the rest of it. And cups of tea in the mornings. I made this. I made you the other one yesterday. <laughs> but yeah. Did you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. It was a good morning. It was a good morning. Managed to win. Was it? I won. And I had fastest time overall. So good morning it was indeed. And uh, we're going to go and enjoy the rest of the afternoon and probably do nothing because we're both tired and got busy next week. So that's the end of the video. See you in Portugal in two weeks.